Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're back in the garage. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update on the Gemini and where it's at. I haven't done nothing to it since okay, this COVID started and uh, everything being closed. I sort of put it on the back burner. But now, the new year, I'm going to get stuck back into it. So I'll show you guys what I'm up to or where I left off and yeah. So guys, if you're new to the channel, this is my 1984 TG Gemini. Um, where I'm up to, I think in the last video, I stripped all the sound deadening off the floors. Uh, still got to weld up some of the holes. Um, the other Gemini that I had, the red one, where I got the motor, motor out of, I pulled all that out, but I didn't film any of it. Um, I got all that out. That will be for this project, this car. Uh, some of the floor, it's good in it, so I'll be cutting it out to weld up all these holes and this hole. Uh, apart from that, next will be. Look, Daddy. What's what do you mean? It's going red. Oh, you scratched yourself, huh? Look. Yeah. Uh, next will be cleaning up all the wheel arches um, and then getting them ready for the Raptor liner or sound deadener, the spray on. I'm also going to start rubbing back all the door jams, get them in primer. I have to buy another gun because my other one, it just had uh, stuff left in it and it dried up and it was no good anymore. So yeah. Door jams, get it in primer. I'm gonna lay down the um, sound deadening. I've got new sheets for it for the floor, so I'll do that. I was gonna paint all inside. I wanted to, but it's not gonna be seen, and it's gonna be covered with carpet. So I'm just gonna put the sound deadening down, and then paint it, and it'll just get overspray. So it might look factory. Also in the engine bay, I've got this massive hole here that has been cut in it. I'm going to weld up, so I'm going to cut that section out of the other shell that I've got and then replace that. There's a few other little holes in there, like at the back there, I'm going to do. Uh, I've got to remove that. That was for the clutch when, the, when it had the V8 in it. Um, that bracket there that was for the brake booster I won't be needing that because I'll be running the fact um, the factory booster so it goes there okay so I'm out here to the, at the other Gemini so I'm going to cut out this section and a few other bits and pieces from inside that I need so once I'll get them cut out I'll show you guys So I've got the bits that I need cut out. So I'm going to take them to the other car. We've got to still clean them up, obviously, so it can be welded in. Right. So this piece is for here. Covers that. Yeah. This piece so it goes there. Yeah, we'll fill that. Oh, 
the, this little piece is for the corner in here. Fill that one in. And this piece is at the front here. So I'll clean up that. So I'll go in there. Okay guys, so now I've got this uh, cut out. I'm gonna draw the rectangle shape over here. And I'm gonna sit on there. And then I'm gonna cut this while it's on top on a 45 degree angle. So uh, this top bit will sit flat and perfectly into this section. I've seen it done on other um, YouTube channels, like videos, and I'm gonna do the same. So I'll mark it out now. Uh, first I'll get rid of this um, sound deadening, clean it up, I'll mark it out, and then I'll cut it. screws to hold it there because I've got no clamps to hold it so I'm going to screw it and then I'll do the cut around and the angle and then hopefully it should fit nice and then I'll be able to weld it in so we'll screw it in now hey guys so as you can see it's all welded up I've just put down some primer over it and I'll start doing the, well actually I've got to do this um, little one first and then I can start putting down the sound deadening which is uh, this stuff here, the sheets. So I'll start lying that down and next will be, uh, I really got to get myself a better welder with um, gas. So I'm using a gasless one as yeah just shit so I'm gonna do that first and then I would start doing the engine bay but I want to do all the wheel arches and all that first before I do the bay so yeah I'll let that dry and then I'll come back to you guys I've done the body deadener, it's a hard work, it took ages, longer than I expected and I only had enough for half of the floor, so I have to order some more, but I'm really happy with how it's coming out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm going to call it a night, I'm sweaty, uh, my son's got school tomorrow, so I've got to go give him a bath. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you guys.